contarte que tuve la increíble oportunidad de entrevistar a Steven Porges, una eminencia en el campo de la neurociencia y creador de la teoría polivagal, que nos muestra cómo nuestro estado fisiológico, es decir, la manera como sentimos nuestro cuerpo, influye en la manera como interactuamos con el mundo. Cuando nuestro cuerpo está en calma, estamos más accesibles, flexibles y podemos interactuar saludablemente con otros. Y cuando nuestro cuerpo cambia a un estado de alerta, aparecen conductas de ataque, huida o paralización que no nos permiten evaluar las situaciones objetivamente y simplemente reaccionamos. Este conocimiento es la base del modelo Biconet y representa una innovación en la comprensión y el tratamiento del autismo. En esta entrevista, Porges habla del modelo Biconet y cómo está alineado con la teoría polivagal. La validación de Porges no solamente fortalece este modelo, sino que reafirma la importancia de seguir construyendo caminos innovadores para apoyar a las personas autistas, ayudarlas a, mejor, a mejorar la calidad de vida y así lograr una sociedad más inclusiva que valore y respete las diferencias entre las personas. Aquí los dejo con la entrevista a Borges. When you're in a physiological state that does not give you access to your social engagement system, your awareness of others is greatly compromised. So let's take that and go back to two other features in BeConnect. BeConnect has a great respect for the individual's underlying physiological state. Mm -hmm. So that part is that intervening variable. Mm -hmm. It also understands that the physiological state you're in may literally mediate the thresholds of reactivity. Mm -hmm. And the way of literally expanding that range, the flexibility, which is really the product of BeConnect, is neural exercises that involve co-regulation. Mm -hmm. And what you've done is your exercises of co-regulation are really a contextual shift in the educational and parenting process. Mm -hmm. And that, so it, in a sense, It, it, on one level, it's extraordinarily simple. On another level, it's ex almost impossible to do. Mm -hmm. On a simple level, all you're saying is, as a parent or as a teacher, if you're aware, aware of the child's physiological state, and the child over time becomes aware of that, things will co-regulate naturally. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. But, But we know that that even in our, let's say, our spousal or parenting relationships with more, you know, we assume that we are in normal relationships. Mm -hmm. Once the physiological state shifts in the other, uh, there's no co-regulation. It's off the table. Okay. And the, the, so the, uh, the point I often make is, have you ever won an argument? Mm -hmm. And you have to stop and think and say, well, never really won an argument. Then you say, Have you had arguments? Of course. <laughs> yeah. And the answer is, why do you argue? Because you're arguing to express and to be witnessed of your own physiological state. Exactly. And even the autistic individual who has all this frustration and anxiety mm -hmm. craves to be witnessed and mm -hmm. heard on, on that very primitive or basic, let's not even use the word primitive, but basic physiological foundation. <laughs> 